Hello. Hello, Miss Carla. How's everybody doing tonight? Are you all ready? All right. This is what we're starting with. Okay, we're starting with this sign. All right, simple sign you can get any hobby store. There's one, two, three, four, five sections to it. Check this out. The power of TV, we've already painted it. And it's already dry. Isn't that cool? All right, now. I'm not going to show you just yet and what we're doing with this, but this is what we're going to do, okay? This is how I've finished it off. Now, you need to turn your ribbon over. Now, this is a, uh, it's a little more than four and a half inches. It's ribbon actually from Dollar General, okay? It comes like this, okay? So you're going to turn your, your board over, and you're going to trace the ribbon. But you need the ribbon face down, and this face down, in order to... Now where did my pen go? And then you're, what you're going to do is you're going to trace it. All right. You guys have used Mod Podge before, right? Well, that's what you're going to do. You're going to modge podge this on to the wood. All right. So I've traced it. Now I'm going to cut it out. Okay. Y'all with me so far? All right. You could use fabric if you want with this. I just went with what I had on hand. And these two ribbons were wide enough if you had some of the sam's club five inch you could use that so mainly you're just going to cut and it's easier if you trace it because you'll notice all these edges are kind of like jagged they're not straight okay i painted both sides of it I use the Krylon spray paint from it was just easier for me to spray it and actually sprayed thank you for spreading the love I actually sprayed it and sprayed the rope too so I ended up having to put new rope on it okay so there's your first one see how it fits exactly you don't have any overhang that you have to worry about okay and you guys have all worked with Mod Podge right just spraying it on what I did was I Mod Podge the wood, put this on top, then I used my Mod Podge roller, okay, and then I rolled it out, and after it dried, then I went and put a bunch of um, Mod Podge over top of it and let it dry, all right, so I used that one, then I only did four of these, okay, so again, we're going to turn our ribbon over. Turn our board over. So I used two colors. So again, I'm just showing you how to do it. Your ribbon has to be facing the, the finish side. It has to be upside down because you're... If you had it the other way, if you had it face up like this, it would not fit. It would be wrong. I just found this easier to trace ahead of time and then cut. Am I keeping you in suspense? Hey, tequila.
So basically you're just finishing it off. I didn't do this ahead of time because I wanted you to see how to do it so you didn't cut the ribbon backwards. Okay. So I think I paid like six something for this board with all the boards on it. The sign, I'll call it. So this is just to give you a visual, right? Okay, so this is your second one. So what I did was I alternated. I have the one with the snowflakes, and then I alternated. Then I did another one with snowflakes, and then I did another one with stripes, right? Then you see this? I got this at Dollar General for $3, okay? Okay. There are two different ones, like this one has different sayings than this one, All right? So then what I did, I took it all apart. I didn't want it, it looked too chintzy, so I took it all apart. So then what I did was, I took the four signs that I cut apart, well, this is not going to work. There we go. And then I placed them. So, like that. There's staples on the back. I just basically cut the rope. And then mounted it to, after, it, after I Mod Podge, after the Mod Podge was all dry, then I have my husband take the nailer and just tack it in place, all right? So you're kind of getting the idea of what I did, right? Okay. The power of television <laughs> or lives, here we go. Here's what it looks like right now, okay? You see I alternated, and then I put these on it. And then I took the bottom and I drilled holes through. And you know how I love my tinsel ties, okay? So I'm actually gonna use this as a, um, a bottom to put my mesh in, okay? I added a new rope to it. What's nice about this, this has a support all the way down the side so I could connect the ribbon or the the um, roping to that, all right? So now, what we're going to do, and again, so I've spent $6 on the sign, and then I spent $3 a piece on these, you know, where's the, here, okay, and then these were $3, so right now I got $9 and some roping in it and some tinsel ties, okay? I wanted you to visually see it from start to finish, okay? And then I drilled holes because if I hot glued or stapled, I was afraid it wasn't going to hold it very well. So I figured this way. And I didn't make them straight across. I, I kind of went up and down with them. And I put seven on here, okay? I didn't want it to be uniform all across. I wanted it to be a little whimsical. So I cut these at 18 inches. This is a mesh from Hobby Lobby. It has the red and green and then some silver through it, the metallic, okay? So basically, I'm just gonna do a ruffle, all right? I chose the silver because I'm going to add some silver stuff to it, and I thought it'd be kind of a 
a nice um, look. But if I want, where is it? before I add that in, wait a minute, before I add this in, I have lights that if I want to, I thought the way this is set up in the back, this is really cool. I can just Velcro this to the back and you won't even see it. So I'm looking because I had two sets of lights here. This was one. I have an all red one that I thought was better than this because these are kind of chunky. So let's go with the red one. So probably do better with clear but I don't know what I did with the smaller clear ones let me get some batteries here oh. I it. here we go I got it these I also got from Dollar General and these are like really fine lights this was five dollars So I thought, wouldn't it be cute just to put some lights underneath the mesh? There's 15, I think, on here. Now this has a, a timer function on it, too. So you can turn it on and then let it, let it go, and it'll turn itself back on, which I thought was pretty cool. I will answer questions at the end, okay? So what I want to do is kind of put this in the back and then see where my lights fall. I could, if I wanted to, kind of post it, put it around too, but I don't want the wires showing. That's why I thought this would be better if I just kind of folded it and run it through here and then put the mesh on top of it that looked pretty right all right let's leave it like that and let's do the mesh on top i'm just making sure Hello everybody and welcome. All right. First of all, I better turn it on and make sure it's working. Oh yeah. Little, little tiny lights. Little tiny twinkles. There we go. All right. So I'm using the bottom one as my rail. If you didn't want to do that this way, you could actually cover that with fabric or ribbon and make it into, um, make it personalized. Or you could take, you could take another one from another set because it only comes with four. So then you could get another one and add an extra one to the bottom. So you wouldn't have to do this all the way down. I like making gifts that, um, I like making handmade stuff as gifts. So this will probably get given away as a gift. But you know what? They're not gonna get one like it because it's gonna be unique. Okay. And I like this color because it kind of goes with everything you're seeing. The only trouble is it's kind of, I want it kind of to 
there we go, be able to see that. Okay. one I'm using as a rail on the bottom. And my lights are already on the bottom underneath the mesh. Come on. Better get ready, Levine. We're going to jack this thing up. We're not done. I'm sure you could get small lights at the Dollar Tree, too, that wouldn't be as expensive as the $5 set I bought for this today. guys wouldn't mind spreading the love I'd really appreciate it and if you haven't um, liked my page if you want updates you need to um, type in get started jack it up that's what we're doing okay now here's what it looks like so far all right There you go with the lights on. I don't know if you can see them. I know. Homemade gifts are like the best. All right. Now, I got a whole bunch of stuff we can add here. We got this. We also have, and this guy's one of a kind. We also have this guy who I could put in the middle here. So we have him that we could add and his legs could hang down. We have ribbon so we could add a bow or tails. We've got, um, we've got some, nope, not liking that. I thought this was cute too. And I was hoping I could get it like to hang off the side and hang down a couple of them. Because those, those are really cute. But if we add them in there, they kind of disappear. We've got some candy canes. We've got some of these. They're plastic. We've got beads. And we've got tubing. So we've got just a little bit of everything. Plus we got balls. So how about we make a bow first? Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Levine. How about we add just a, a nice fat bow right here first? And then maybe we'll add some tails and then put some of these um little balls in there. I could even look that's look at that that's that's long enough to hang down from there. Or I have smaller ones. But they're only red in color. But if I had silver ones in small that would be too. There's, okay, we can even add a couple little snowmen to jack it up. Or, I've got these. I've got all kinds of light bulbs, glittered light bulbs. Where are they? I have them right here. <laughs> Well, 
They couldn't have gone far. They don't have legs. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had it sitting out here too. Where did I put it? My goodness. Well, I even have some of these, but I don't like them. They're too the. I think the lights will be better, but I'm not sure where they went. They were right here. Let me look around the corner. Sorry about that. I did have them out. right in front of my face and I'm just not seeing them but they were right here so, well the show must go on we'll find them I'll end up probably putting them on later like I have some red and some some green ones that is just going to drive me insane now because I put them where I could reach. Yeah. Here we go. I found them. All right, let's start off with the dough first. Okay. I chose, I chose these colors. I don't know if I'm liking this. And I don't know. I don't know that I want to go so big. That's the thing. So maybe I'm better just keeping it small and simple. So let's try small and simple. Actually, let's try something different. Let's do it this way. on the outside. We're going to do the three together. That's weird. How about I zoom in? Is that better? Does that work for you? As the green goes away, I'll see if, if we've got. Yeah, you can see what I'm doing here. All right. I want to use some of my tinsel tie. All right, I'm going to put all three colors together. And guys, this is just trial and error here, so we may end up with something that I'm totally not liking. But we'll find out. I want to go this way, I think, first. Yep. Nope. How the heck? Let me think on this one again. See, it's not. There we go. All right. Try to 
keep this all together. may not work with my vision but we're going to give it a shot because you don't know until you try and there are no mistakes in creativity there's mismatched colors <laughs> but if anybody is asking questions if the girls that are in my group could do the moderating, I'd really appreciate it. So I'm trying to concentrate on doing this. It would be greatly appreciated. the end I will go over any last minute questions and share information <clears throat> about our new group all right My tinsel tie I'm just gonna loop it right through here make sure catching all of it, which looks like I am. See, I can grip tinsel ties a lot better than I can pipe cleaners or wire. And if this is too big for down there, I can use it up here. And then we can do tails and balls in there. So maybe that would be better. Like I said, we're just going along here, see what works and what doesn't. This is one of the bows that they showed us at... Um, the wreath gala and I loved it it's just you got a lot of bulk there so you have to um, really hold it all together so I'm gonna just smooth out my ties I'll start separating. That's a thought. Now, let's go. I think we did bottom first.
here. Boy, wouldn't that look nice on the top of a car? <laughs> That's one thing I want to do. That's on my bucket list to make a bow for a car. I'm afraid if I made the bow, then I have to pay for the car. So, all right, let's see how we're going to do this. Like I said, it may look better up top. What do you think? Up top? Or down below it definitely needs to go up top I do not like it down below all right so we've got all our colors up top so down below we're gonna do tails and I'm only gonna use let's see see something here. I think I'm going to put this one in the middle down here and then do tails around it. Like I said, I'm doing something out of the box here. Alright, I did seven of these, so... Put it in here. Kind of like that. There it is. I'm do a twelve inch. If I don't like this, I'm taking it out, and I don't like it. So, we are going to alternate here and put some of these balls in here. I think I like the red and silver, though, the best. I don't know why. All right, let's, let's make sure it's glued on there tight. Actually, let me see something. I just don't show up against there. Let's see if the red does. Red doesn't either. I think we're gonna stick with the balls. Yo, and then I don't know. Put our snowman in the middle, or is he too big and honky for the middle? Let's just try the balls. That's what I'm going to do. I figured it out. I'm going to glue those balls down, but I'm going to twist the tinsel tie because that just gives it a real finished look. And then I'll figure out what I'm going to put in the middle there. So let's do that. Let's. Yep, I like that better. You 
using just a dowel to twist it down. And then we're going to glue these balls in here. could have attached these to the top of the of the tinsel tie but I want the tinsel tie to look like glitter okay I like these shiny balls. We're jacking it up. Okay, we're gonna leave that one open right now. Because I may wanna put something bigger in the middle of that. I think I would like a red ball in the middle, a bigger red ball. All right, let's finish these off. One, two, three. All right, so we did a red, and so we'll do a silver and green. Uh oh, we're out of these, so. I'm going to change this out here and put in a smooth one over here. So then I have a shiny, a smooth, a shiny, and then I can even it out over here. All right. And just don't burn yourself. shiny there. Why did I grab a red one? And then twist. And I thought very long and hard this weekend about doing a paid tutorial, but I have decided on Wednesday I am going to, to not put it as a paid tutorial. So you guys do not want to miss my Wednesday live. You are going to be blown away. All right, now we need a green and a silver. So, I'm going to knock your socks off. 
because I started out to make something and it didn't go the way I would planned and I went something went totally in another direction and you are going to love it so that's month that's Wednesday at 2 so you don't want to miss my live or you're going to be left in the dark all right then I think I'll put a bigger ball right in there now see by staggering the tinsel ties I have some going up some coming down so that worked not instead of making them all straight all the way across See, I'm not, I don't know. Well, let's just put one in there. I don't know, I kind of, I kind of like it the way it is. It's not a whole bunch of tails and it's just, just the way I want it. And I can go back. And add some of these in. But I don't know that I want to do that. But I still want to have like something up here. So maybe bells would be better. I have bells. These would look like little snowballs. I'll go back and I'll add little bells because I don't think I don't greenery is not what I want all right let's see what see what you think okay we didn't use the snowman but there you go Okay, and then we got our lights, so let's turn our lights on, you probably can't see them, but there's little twinkle lights under there, so there we go. Use the bottom to make my rail, all I did was drill holes through. Now if you didn't want to put the mesh down at the bottom, you could put another one of these, you know, that we cut out, you could actually modge podge another one at the bottom and then get two two um, packs of the four signs. So what do you think? I make a nice door hanger, don't you think? In place of a wreath. And this will mount real nice right back here. I'm just going to use a little Velcro. Actually, I could just take a pipe cleaner and run it through the back and run it around or just, you know, or just use the Velcro. What do you think? Something totally different, totally off the wall. Let's do that. See, I don't think I want to do that. I don't, I don't think, I don't think I want to add it. I think I like it just the way it is. Thank you. Thank you. Just with balls. It's a shame these are not like 
flat on one side. Because they would look cute just be, you know, like, well, there, I could add that to there, put it over top of that. I have a, I have a reindeer. I could put him over top of that. I actually had a little sleigh, but there's no room for that. Nope. I think I like it just the way it is. I could just hang like a few bells. See? Down from the side. I have some green bells upstairs and some red ones, so maybe I'll just do that. Just hang a few bells. Just something simple, you know, put one here, put one here, put one here, put one down here, just to give it a little pop. Oh, thank you, Marjorie. Something just totally, totally different. And then, like I said, mount that to the back. I just wanted it simple. I didn't want a whole lot, but I, I wanted some sparkle and some bling, and I think the balls give it the, the bling that I wanted. And then I'll just add a few bells. Yeah, me too. I think that was, I had a lot of stuff here that I could have used, but I didn't like it. You always come prepared because you never know. These were the shatterproof balls. There's 24 of these. They were three dollars at um, Dollar General. The ribbon even this ribbon even came from Dollar General. I thought this was pretty, and I thought that had both colors and would you know work well with it. Oh, I guess the gnomes wanted to be in it, too. <laughs> Not your time. Well, I guess it is. No, it's not. And see, I had these, but I don't like those there, either. I think the bells would just give it that little pop and that little glitter, which is what I want. A little pop, a little glitter. All right, let's get down to business. We've done that. Oh, and if you guys, I'm just trying to unplug my gun. If you guys go to Dollar General, you might want to pick up one of these. Can you see it? This is going to go awesome with my live on Wednesday. And look, it has a little light even. Is that not the cutest? Okay. So yeah, they had this kind, and they had this kind. So either one will work with what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. I can't, I can't wait. I should have just brought it down. You guys are going to be blown away. Isn't that cute? All right, now, about our paid, our, our group. For those of you, I don't know if you've seen this, this was just one of the items we made in our group, and this was not made with a Cricut. This was made with our, our printers. Okay, so these are the kind of things that we make in our um, paid group. We have a community group which is for everybody, and there is no fee for that one. That's our Fabulous Fine Designers. That's our community group. Then we have um, our paid group, which I saw Lori on here. Lori's on it. We got another member. So we have a few members already. I wish you guys would join because you're going to be blown away. That's some of the stuff we got coming up. But anyhow, it's called the Team of Dream Design Group. There's eight of us. We've 
got Carla from the One Stop Boutique. We've got Rita from Rita's Wreath Barn. We've got Dawn from Dawn, a Wreath Decor by Dawn. Susan with AC Inspired Wreaths. Sandy from Trending Designs by Sandy. Tequila with Unbreathable. And Levon with Forever Dreams of You by Levon. You have eight designers for the price of one. There's no standard contract, okay? It's $19.95 a month, and we have Zoom calls. For those of you who aren't on any groups and you're not familiar with them, the Zoom call is a personal um, conference site that we go to where we can all talk and speak to each other, and it's just more personal than, than our lives. Okay, our lives you get to type in, and this way you get to ask us questions. Um, we've done so much on the group already, so much talent. Oh my gosh, the talent is unbelievable. I, I need to find out from everybody how many years they've been doing it because I bet you we have almost 200 years of experience between all of us. It's awesome. Everybody does bring something special to the group. There, Don put it on there for you. We had a few members sign up this week. So we are on a roll. The more members, the more fun it's going to be. We do usually Monday nights and Friday nights. Um, it's usually between an hour to two hours. And do something different every time like this the this that we did I shared that on the group then I went and sent everybody one so they could try it at home and I said for any new members signing up this month you need to send me your home address because I will send you the decal so you can try it and do it yourself we have painters in the group we have designers that do wreaths, swags, mailbox covers, um, painting, you name it, we've got it. So what's stopping you? Do you want to have some fun? Learn some new stuff? Questions? What's your pleasure? Does anybody have any questions? Now that I'm finished and I can answer any questions, you might have. We did this. Okay. I took a sign. I painted it. I made the bottom into a rail. I'll show you what it looked like before. Okay, it was, this is what we got. I showed you how to, how to um, trace it and then cut it. Then you have to modge podge these on here. Then you have to put your signs on there. You could use, you could just put the word welcome down here. You could put the word Merry Christmas down here. Thank you. I just took this apart. I just thought this just didn't, it just was blah. It needed to be jacked up. So I jacked it up. And this was like four and a half inch ribbon. It says five inch, but it's, it's under five inches. I know you guys have ribbon at home that you could do this with. There, Donna went over. She wants to join. All right. Awesome. Who else wants to join? Who else wants to have some fun? We have so much stuff coming up. We are just going to blow you away. Plus, you get to ask questions along the way. What group lets you ask questions? And there are stuff we share in the group that we don't share on our lives. 
So you're going to learn stuff that we're not sharing with anybody else. And I thought about doing my my project that I'm doing tomorrow on my live with the group, but I I kind of want everybody to do it. So so yeah, it's tomorrow at two o'clock. Okay, here's what our sign looks like now. Can you guys see the lights on there? I don't know if you can see them. That. Okay, who's asking? Deborah. Any um any any hobby store will have it. Michael's AC Moore in their wood department. Um let me show you. It's See when I when I get it I order in bulk because I do wreath classes out of my home, so I'm sure that some of my students are going to want to try this, so I ended up purchasing extra. I think they turned out to be like $6 a piece. I even have one that's a Christmas tree. I can't wait to do that one, because it's uh, staggered like that is. I think it's closer together, though. Yeah, and actually you can't really tell because they're like budded. Isn't that going to be nice? I just sometimes I sit on stuff a while till the right, um, just till the right design comes to mind. And this this one that I'm doing tomorrow, it started out to be something totally different. And now it ended up to be um, just total other end. Shocked me. But I do a lot of classes out of my home locally. Um, I have people that come over. And this table fits about six people. And then I have another table that fits about four. So um, they can uh, bring their own bottle if they want. We have a good time. It's down in my basement. Um, they get to pick the ribbon. You know, we have a great time. You're welcome. Anytime. Like I said, this has five. Sometimes you can find one that has four. If you wanted to do the signs all the way down, because there's two sets, and each one is different. Okay, so you could actually pick one from here to put with here, and you could have done it all the way down. I mean, you were you were watching. We ended up um, turning the sign over. Are there some that just joined us? Because you have to turn your sign over like this, and then you have to turn your ribbon you want to put your ribbon face down okay put your wood on top of it and then trace it and then you cut it out and then you put mod podge on here and i used my mod podge roller okay to to adhere it to the wood then when it dried i mod podge the top of it again so you could do all five if you didn't want to put a rail down at the bottom. To get the rail, we had to drill holes through here. My husband has a little, we have a air compressor, so he had little brads. You could, you could glue this down, but I thought it would stay better if we did the brads. And we used this line as our guide when we put the brads in to hold the sign in place. But like I said, I'm sure you could glue it and it would stay just fine. Or you could use a stapler and staple it from this end into the back of the sign. Because then you're not seeing the staples. So that's another thing you could do. 
I bet you this will look really cute at night with the lights off because we've got our little little um, row of lights in there. So yeah. Any questions? Anybody want to join tonight? Because after this we have our um, we have our hour tequila's. It's tequila's turn tonight. So. And I have to find out who's Friday night. But if you join tonight, you can even go back and look at all the past ones we've did. You can go on and see how we did this. This was just with an inkjet printer. Very easy. We had fun. And like I said, I mailed everybody a little, little one and they did it at home themselves. So... And I, I used, Deborah. I don't know if you were on in the beginning, I used spray paint on this. Um, the Krylon uh, spray paint and primer from Walmart. Um, it's just nice, even coat. And I ended up spray painting the, the rope. So that's why I took the rope off and put new rope on, which I just stapled to the back with my staple gun. And then this is going to go here. Looks festive, right? Hello, Jeannie. Oh, Jesse, sorry. I can't read a darn thing without my, my uh, cheaters on. All right, guys. And look, even this would be cute down here. If you painted the last one white. Let's see. Let me get a clear one. I mean, just think of what you could do. I painted these trucks. Look, wouldn't that look cute at the bottom? And then all your signs at the top. Or you could put the and put their last name on there. Wouldn't that look cute? Welcome to the Millers or you know what I mean? so much you could do with this i just i just didn't want to make all these little signs i could have painted each one of these a different color or i could have used um scrapbook paper and mod podged it and then i could go ahead and put um my vinyl words down here so you're not limited to this there's so much you can do with this what I was trying to do is show you different things that you could do with it. Okay. Any hobby store would have these, Jesse. I and I have a supplier I get mine in bulk from, um, mainly because I do classes out of my home. But you know, you could even. Wouldn't it be cute to put, like, the names of songs down here, Christmas songs? Endless, what you could do with this. I mean, you've seen what we did with our round signs, right? I don't know if I had any more. Like, we made these. This is just scrapbook paper with my vinyl. And then, uh, um, you know, just a little bit of greenery and a ribbon at the top. You're welcome. I'm sure you can find them in any hobby store. We don't, the only ones we have here are a Michael's and um, AC Moore. So... And I hope I gave you some ideas. That goes over there. All right. How many of you are going to join me on Wednesday? If you can't join me at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, watch the replay. And after I'm done, I will be posting it on um, YouTube, on my YouTube channel.
okay? It's going to be fun. It looks like we got a couple people signing up tonight. Yay! I can't wait for our group to grow because that's just going to challenge us even more. So this is exciting. All right, guys, I'm going to head out because we start our other group at 8. And um, I think I gave you some ideas. And if you guys make anything similar, you know, make... Like if you decide you're going to make something like this, send me a picture. I want to see what I've how I've inspired everybody. I'd love to see your pictures. Don't hesitate to share, okay? Because that that just makes it more fun for me that I made something that inspired you to make something else. That's the whole idea behind us doing these to inspire everyone else. Now, if you want to be alerted when I go live, make sure you write, um, type in get started. Then my, my bot will um, send you a message, reply to that message, and then you'll be notified every time I go live. And if you want to be part of my email group, message me your um, email address. Um, a lot of people have been getting kicked off Facebook for reasons that are unknown. And at least if um, I can't, you can't find me, I can email you and tell you where to find me. And don't forget to like my YouTube channel. Hey, check out my gnome video. I'm up to 2.5K hits on that gnome video. So... And anything you see that I show, um, you know, I, I end up making kits and sending them. I've sent kits to Texas, Florida, New York, Ohio. Um, so, you know, I have people that see my classes online and they're too far, to part, too far away to come. So I mail them a kit and I, I shoot them a video on how to do it. Um, you know, it's fun. All right, guys, I'm going to head out so I can get to my other class and hopefully you'll, you'll join us and I'll see you there too. Love to meet you in person. It's hard when you just look at people's names and they're typing. It's so nice to put a face with the name and be able to talk face to face. Okay. All right, everybody, have a good evening, and thanks so much for joining and supporting me. I really appreciate it. All right, good night.